Hey guys, Rodney Walker here. Just wanted to chime in to our group here on LinkedIn and talk to you today. And today I want to answer one of the questions or really chime in to the discussion that's taking place with Josh. Josh is new to our group and let me share with you what he wrote. He talks about he's here and he's getting ready to move back to Santa Fe. So hey, again, Josh, welcome to the group. We're so glad to have you. He's going to be moving back next May, he writes, and he's already he says, I'm volunteering with two nonprofits and writing proposals for each of them. Man, way to just dive into the mix and start getting some real life experience. So kudos for that. He had made mention that he had some questions here and some of the questions that he had was in regards to becoming marketable and getting paid as a grant writer. And uh, he was wondering about how much time could be considered reasonable for him to, to go about getting a paying gig where he started earning income. So I want to chime into that. He had a couple of questions. Let's look at A. He says, how much should I expect uh, to need before I am competitive prospect for paid work? And is there a general idea of how many proposals I would want to submit or how much funding I would want to secure? Or is it in large part word of mouth and networking? So we'll, I'm going to talk to that in just a second. And then the other part was he, what he wrote here was, what should I plan for financially if I, if I'm, uh, living a contract lifestyle? Okay. How can I reasonably project my work output and income over the course of any given month? Great questions you have here. Then he goes on even farther than that. Uh, what intentional steps might I consider to maximize the likelihood that I'll be able to bring in income around my targeted move date. Now we are right now in September as of this recording. So let's kind of look at that. We So September, we have, let's consider from September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May. So we're talking about like about eight months, seven, eight months, give or take. So with that said, let's kind of look here and I want to comment. We already have one comment that's come in. And so I want to kind of dive into the comment that came in a little earlier. Danielle. Hey, Danielle. Thank you so very much for leaving a comment. I, I like when we have people in our group that will reach out and help those that are new. I can't tell you when I first started, the very first time when I started, I was just trying to get so much information and it was hard to get information from people. But I'm glad that we have a caring group and kudos to you, Danielle, for stepping up and giving the first comment here. But here's what Danielle said in regards to She says, check job ads for grant writers and contracted grant writers to see their requirements. Usually about two years is what they hire for. And that's that's pretty standard with a lot of these gigs. But here's what I want to add on to that. One of the things that may be important is if you can start looking right now, Josh, and look and see how you have skills already that you've already done over the course of the years that translate into grant writing. For instance, you've been doing school. You probably got extensive research experience, which you and I both know is a big part of grant writing these days. And maybe you've written and been a part of other writing projects, maybe school newspaper or other type of things. Don't be afraid when you are starting out to show and to discuss this with potential employees that you had this experience as well. And the good thing is right now you have a couple of nonprofits that you are working for. Make sure that at the very end that they give you some great great recommendations put those recommendations in your in your linkedin profile as well you know you can get them to recommend you there so i like to have it where it's there permanent but i also like to get it in writing so get it in writing from them on their letterhead showing proof as well so all of those things are very very helpful in addition to that i would say how much experience well, we want to gain as much experience as possible, but remember, look at where you can take your experience that you currently have and translate some of that over. Now, it really is going to vary from organization to organization. Some organizations are brand new to hiring grant writers. And so even though they would want to have someone that maybe had extensive experience, they may not be able to initially because they just can't afford it. So what you might want to look at as you are targeting Think about what type of organization you want to work with. And then since you have time, you have a good amount of time to start 
building up relationships. And it is a lot about relationships, the relationships that you have, the relationships that you create. And also a lot of this is about how you begin to package yourself. Very few grant writers take the time to really think through carefully how they package themselves. And so I want to really encourage you and really, it really kind of say, invite you say, listen, step into branding yourself and really step into packaging who you are and what you do. And if you package that correctly, even though you are brand new, you'd be amazed at what can happen. I mean, like what would happen if you started reaching out and offering things of value to people already in the Santa Fe area right now? What might you do right now that can start adding value through relationships and connections with potential employers there right now that could be helpful? For instance, let me just give you one for instance. You know, most of these are nonprofit leaders that you're going to be trying to connect with that have these nonprofit organizations. What would happen even if you went and conducted some surveys with some of these executive directors, informational interviews and things of that nature to to find out and, and compile something like that into a special report. Is that what would happen if, if you did something like that? Santa Fe grant efforts and, and survey maybe some of the existing for instance, executive directors to find out about the climate and compile all this information and put it into some special report. OK, so now you're adding value while also creating relationships. This is this is just one simple way that you can kind of start getting into the mix and networking, can, developing relationships while also adding value. OK, that's the name of the game. OK, and what I'm going to encourage you to do is if you already haven't done it, go on LinkedIn and find all the Santa Fe groups you can find and start virtually networking with the audience okay a part of what we're doing here is literally this Ooh, not that okay <laughs> we're doing this let me try it again let's see oh I got pretty close that time okay we are literally we're literally we're, we're, we're aiming we're being very targeted and that's what I want to really want to encourage you to do if you do that you'll be amazed at what can happen I want you to keep us updated let us know kind of what's going on and keep us informed okay so let me try to answer just one little last part of this piece right here uh, there are a lot of websites Gil made mention about some classes here I mean Daniela made mention of some classes here uh, other thing is what intentional steps let me just address this last one you have here uh, what should I plan for financially if I'm living a contract lifestyle now that's that's going to also depend again on on one big thing. Let me tell you what that one big thing is, how you brand and really how you how effectively you market yourself. Now, I don't have time in this video, Josh, to go into greater detail about that. But here's what I here's what I've done. I've created some videos a little earlier and and they speak to this. And it's really for those who are doing freelance grant writing and, and wanted to market themselves a little bit better. I've prepared these videos. I'm going to put a link right below so that you can access that. And it's probably about at least what 30, 40, 40 minutes or so just talking about that in a series of different videos. And this is just me just pouring into because I want to see you be highly, highly, highly successful in this. So just go check those out and it'll talk, it'll share with you how to do more effective marketing. Now, the more effective you market, the less up and down you have. If you don't market effectively, then you're going to have some ups and downs. OK, so well, what, what any business you have ups and downs, but you can lessen that amount. OK, now, last thing, what intentional steps might I can uh, might I not can be considering to maximize the likelihood that I will be bringing in the income around my targeting? My what intentional steps might I not be considering? Well, again, I'm not sure if you've been considering the importance of marketing, the importance of networking online right now because literally every day you have the potential if you just target it and say hey, great I'm gonna go down this list and start reaching out to these executive directors and connecting with them directly on LinkedIn LinkedIn is so powerful it allows you to target you can target the executive directors that are in that area so I'm gonna encourage you to do that and I just wanna wish you well guys 
there just make sure that you continue to chime in to this discussion and and chime into some of the other discussions that we have going on we have uh right here we have henrika that is looking for somebody who has a skill in grant writing in, in terms of being able to do some uh, grant writing for her agencies that have an agricultural background and you got all kind of other little things kind of going on here with a grant that I think that was Mindy. Mindy had a grant opportunity there. And then it, we have the conference, the summit that's going to be taking place next year. Real soon this week, be keeping an eye out for that because I'm going to be sharing more information about that opportunity as well. And then we got Joseph here. Joseph was looking for those grants. He was looking to do some things with the computer in terms of replacing it. Hopefully you can find out those. I want to thank you guys. I had some other people in this group that uh, chimed in and made some great comments and some suggestions here so let's let me take a look i think there again uh we have daniela that, that's helping out in that area laura thank you for sharing that comment as well i, I think i saw earlier frank hey what's going on frank frank chimed in so thank each i want to thank each of you guys for for chiming in and let's continue to be that support for each other and remember as always i want you to be brave be bold be brilliant and remember to Take charge. All the best, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.